Have you ever wanted a single solution that has the best of Dropbox, Plex, and Remote Desktop all in one app? If you are, then you'll be happy to know it exists and it's called Unity. So you need to reach out to me to show you their app. I've been using it for a couple of days and I think it's worth downloading, especially if you wanna take your entire computer with you wherever you go. The first thing you need to do is install Unity on your computer and this is free and you have to have this client to make this whole thing work. Just set up an account and it will start scanning the files on your computer. What makes Unity unique is that you can install this on multiple computers and all of it shows up just in one place, no switching from computer to computer or any of that. That's one of the best things about this app is you don't have to do anything. Everything happens in the background and the magic happens with the app. There's no uploading, there's no networking, there is none of that. There's really no setup. It depends on how much stuff you have on your computer, but for me, it took only about 10 to 15 minutes. The app is available on Android and iOS, and it's also available for your PC or Mac OS, so most of you should be covered. Once everything gets scanned up, when you open up the app, all of your computer files are automatically organized here, all of your music, videos, photos, and importantly, files. This is something that's missing from other apps like Plex. What's great is you can make changes to these files and you can even print them via wireless printing, so that's pretty nice. Music is categorized by artists, albums, songs, and more, and you can search directly for what you want and start streaming high quality audio. For people that have invested a ton of money into iTunes, what's amazing is you can access all of your iTunes music on your Android device, and if you want, you can even download the songs if you anticipate bad signals or don't wanna use up all your data. I think this is a huge selling point for people that have just recently switched over to an Android device and don't want the hassle of moving all of their iTunes stuff over with different apps and different lengthy methods. Movies also get categorized in the same fashion. It depends on the title of your movie or file. It can get a little messy here, but luckily there is a search area where you can look for your specific movie. One thing is that Unity right now does not fetch missing metadata like Plex does, and Plex also has a nicer looking interface, but improvements are coming in the future with software updates where Unity will address that. I love having my entire library of videos right on my mobile phone. I can stream right away. It's nice, especially for people out there with those 16 gigabyte phones. I wasn't able to establish anything greater than a 480p stream when I was out, but on Wi-Fi you can get a clean HD stream. And even though there's no app for your streaming devices out there, you can watch these videos via Chromecast or your Apple TV. You could have some issues with DRM through your old iTunes content. That's a bummer, but expected. Don't judge these movie titles. My wife is a Twilight fan. Photos are another reason why I love this app. Me and my family were just in California for a little Disney trip and I was taking a bunch of pictures with my Sony a6300 and it's nice to have some high resolution pictures to also supplement your smartphone pictures. And what's great is I can access them all here in albums too and I can either download this picture to my phone if I want to or I can share directly to any social media app like Twitter or Instagram right from the Unity app. I can also text these pictures and send them out via WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or whatever you want and not take up that precious space on your phone. I think it's great to have all of your pictures accessible at all times just in case you wanna share them. This is an awesome feature. If you use Lightroom or you have GoPro footage on your computer, then it also categorizes them separately as well. So this is really nice. What's great is that you can share all of this content with whoever you want to. You can actually restrict access to certain things or you give them access to all of it. So this is pretty awesome too. All right, so now that you've seen this app in action, what does it cost? If you wanna give this a try and connect to all your devices on your Wi-Fi network, then this is completely free. So go ahead and download it. Now they did recently move to a paid model where instead of spamming you with a bunch of ads and things like that that's intrusive, they're charging a minimal $2.99 a month for premium services. They did tell me they are gonna announce new products and features to the premium subscription model and they're also gonna have more affordable and diversified subscription models as well like monthly, yearly, or just lifetime. So for all the features that exist right now and for ones that are coming in the future, and if you're looking for an app that does things like Plex, Remote Desktop, and Dropbox all in one, then I'd go ahead and give this a try. It could be a good fit for you. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the overview of Unity. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up on social media. I'm the most active on Twitter at Super Scientific. 
Thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video and making this video possible. And I will see you guys in the next video.